Thanks very much, Tim. Uh, Minister Price, uh, Senator Fawcett, uh, Minister Ayres, Mr Papalia, General Campbell, Ambassadors, Consuls General, Generals, Air Marshals, but most importantly, my naval colleagues, my service chiefs from around the world and heads of delegation. Uh, and of course, our very important and close partners of industry. Uh, welcome very, uh, all of you to this very, very special occasion. I'm humbled uh, to be uh, here amongst such great naval and defence industry leadership. And uh, I know that uh, the words that you've heard already this morning uh, from Tim and from Minister Ayres sets the scene for what will be a truly magnificent week of both engagement, uh, but also learning and companionship. Last night we had the opportunity to meet on board HMAS Sydney, and uh, it was just terrific to see people uh, who have not seen each other, in some case for several years, reconnecting like it was yesterday. And I think that is the absolute value of Indo-Pacific 2022 and Sea Power 2022 is the ability for us to reconnect after what has been an extremely challenging period, uh, particularly for our world's navies. Uh, as I reflect upon the last two years, men and women of my navy have travelled the world but have not stepped ashore in any of your foreign countries. In February this year, HMAS Arunta was the first ship to have overseas leave in a foreign port in two years. Nearly half the ship's company of that ship have never been ashore in a foreign port. So the way I look at 2022 is this is the year that we reconnect and we recommit. We will talk about some very important themes during the course of this week. And as you all know, the theme for Sea Power 2022 is about maritime engagement in the 21st century and the commonality of purpose and the fact that so many of you have travelled from across the globe to be with us here for this very important uh, and seminal con conference uh, shows to me your absolute commitment to the commonality of purpose that we all share. And of course, that's the free and open Indo-Pacific where we respect the international rules-based order and we strive for security and prosperity for all in the region. For those uh, industry leaders, the industry captains to which Tim referred, thank you so very much for your support, not just this week, but your support uh, over the last four years. I recall very strongly when Minister Price and I launched the Naval Industry Engagement Strategy here at Pacific 2019, and we committed mutually to greater engagement with defence industry. And I'm humbled to say that over the last three years, uh, we have uh, endured uh, some tough times together, but we've absolutely seen a, a, a commitment and a, uh, a projection forward of where defence and certainly Navy is heading into the future. And that has been through our mutual engagement and our mutual desire to ensure the men and women of the Royal Australian Navy have the very best equipment that Australian industry can deliver, and I thank you very, very much for that. I have deliberately sought to have a focus uh, on undersea warfare and autonomous systems through the industry uh, expo uh, that we're a part of this week. And in the small sneak preview I had of the floor last night, I can see that you've all risen to the challenge. Thank you and sincerely, because I think the earlier comments give you a great insight into the fact that we need to be better, more nimble, and we have to use technology, and we have to use the absolute cutting edge of robotic and autonomous systems in, to ensure that the Australian Defence Force really is able to be at the cutting edge of our warfighting abilities. Uh, to my visitors uh, from around the world, Please take the time to walk the floor. Please take the time to engage, uh, not just with the Australian and bro broader defence industry, 
uh, representatives here, but please talk to my people. Uh, I have uh, a wider range uh, of sailors and officers across the Royal Australian Navy, including some Australian Navy cadets. Uh, they are the future of our Navy, they're the future of our nation in many ways, and they will be richer for the experience of engaging with you. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope that uh, you really do uh, enjoy uh, each other's company. The ability to reconnect after such a long absence uh, is truly uh, a valuable and I think the highlight of the week that we've got ahead of us. And uh, I, uh, I do uh, thank you all very much for dedicating so much of your time during what is such a, a very challenging and uh, important time, both nationally, as, uh, as Tim mentioned, we're in a caretaker period leading into a federal election, but in terms of the uh, pressure on all of the defence professionals here uh, in the room today as we, as we grapple with a changing and very challenging dynamic in our region. Thank you all. It's now my privilege and pleasure to call on the Honourable Minister Price.